Peace be upon you, Altair. How may I serve you? I've done as asked and learned all I need to know about my prey. Then you must share your knowledge with me. Abu Naqud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through, and come through you have. The bureau is yours to do with as you please until you're ready to begin. Forward in memory to a more recent one. Altair, is everything all right? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? Only that, with the Merchant King celebration about to begin, you should be there, not here. Joining me this evening. Please eat, drink, enjoy all the pleasures I have to offer. Take your time, I will wait. I trust everything is to your satisfaction. Most excellent, most excellent. Yes. Good, good. It pleases me to see you all so happy. For these are dark days, my friends, and we must enjoy this bounty while we still can. War threatens to consume us all. Salah Adin bravely fights for what he believes in, and you are always there to support him without question. It is your generosity that allows his campaign to continue. So, I propose a toast then. To you, yes, my dear yes, friends, you have yes. brought us to where we are today. May you be given everything you deserve for it. Such kindness! I didn't think it in you. You, who have been so quick to judge me, and so cruel. Oh, do not feign ignorance. You take me for a fool. I have not heard the words you whispered behind my back. Well, I have, and I fear I can never forget. But this is not why I called you. If you might know. I wish to speak more of this war and your part in it. You give up your coin quick as can be. Knowing all too well it buys the deaths of thousands. You don't even know why we fight. 
the sanctity of the Holy Land you'll say, or the evil inclination of our enemies. But these are lies you tell yourselves. <laughs> no, all this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different, just as it bothers you that I am different. <sighs> Compassion, mercy, tolerance. These words mean nothing to any of you, mean nothing to those infidel invaders who ravage our land in search of gold and glory. And so I say, enough! I've pledged myself to another cause, one that will bring about a new world in which all people might live side by side in peace. A pity none of you will live to see <laughs> Kill anyone who tries to escape. Be at peace now. Their words can no longer do harm. Why have you done this? You stole money from those you claim to lead. Sent it away for some unknown purpose. I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. And these noble robes did little more than to muffle their shouts of hate. So this is about vengeance then? No, not vengeance. But my conscience, how could I finance a war in service to the same god that calls me an abomination? If you do not serve Salah din's cause, then whose? In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why hide? And why these dark deeds? Is it so different from your own work? You take the lives of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the lots of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No, we are nothing alike. Ah, but I see it in your eyes. You doubt. You cannot stop us. We will have our new world.
has reached me of your success, Altair. Abu Nakud's reign of terror is at an end. I'm glad to hear it. He killed them. The men and women at his party. It was poison. A coward's tool. Blamed them for the war. Said he wished to end it. Strange. But then again, the merchant king was known to be a bit... different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with Al-Mualim then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes, we'll see what he has to say. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Refill your stock by returning to Messiah. Come, Altair. I would have news of your progress. I've done as you've asked. Good, good. I sense your thoughts are elsewhere. Speak your mind. Each man I'm sent to kill speaks cryptic words to me. Each time I come to you and ask for answers. Each time you give only riddles in exchange. But no more. Who are you to say no more? I'm the one who does the killing. If you want it to continue, you'll speak straight with me for once. Tread carefully, boy. I do not like your tone. And I do not like your deception. I have offered you a chance to restore your lost honor. Not lost. Taken. By you. And then you've sent me to fetch it again like some damn dog. It seems I'll need to find another. A shame. You showed great potential. I think if you had another, you'd have sent him long ago. You said the answer to my question would arise when I no longer needed to ask it. So I will not ask. I demand you tell me what binds these men. Uh, what you say is true. These men are connected by a blood oath not unlike our own. Who are they? Non nobis, domine non nobis. Templars. Now you see the true reach of Robert de Sable. All of these men, leaders of cities, commanders of armies, all pledge allegiance to his cause. Their works are not meant to be viewed on their own, are they? But as a whole, what do they desire? Conquest. They seek the Holy Land not in the name of God, but for themselves. What of Richard, Salah Eddin? Any who oppose the Templars will be destroyed. Be assured they have the means to accomplish it. Then they must be stopped. That is why we do our work, Altair. To ensure a future free of such things. Why did you hide the truth from me? 
that you might pierce the veil yourself. Like any task, knowledge precedes action. Information learned is more valuable than information given. Besides, your recent behavior had not inspired much confidence. I see. Altair, your mission has not changed, merely the context within which you perceive it. And armed with this knowledge, I might better understand those Templars that remain. Is there anything else you want to know? What about the treasure Malik retrieved from Solomon's temple? Robert seemed desperate to have it back. In time, Altair, all will become clear. Just as the role of the Templars has revealed itself to you, so too will the nature of their treasure. For now, take comfort in the fact that it is not in their hands, but ours. If this is your desire. It is. You are restored another rank. Take back your weapon. Use it to bring honor to the Brotherhood. Altair, before you go... Yes? How did you know I wouldn't kill you? Truth be told, Master, I didn't. I took a leap of faith. What is he doing? Must be out of his mind. <laughs> 